In questo servizio vi mostreremo solo... Today we will be showing you only Italian beauties, Lake Como and Gagliotta Lobster 35. We are in Oliveto Lario, and it's precisely from here that our crews will be setting off to discover this boat and these shores. È insolito vedere una barca ispirata alle lobster boat. It is unusual to see a lobster boat inspired by the northeastern coast of the United States on a lake in northern Italy. But after all, it is a way to see a dreamy landscape with a boat full of charm. Del passato di queste barche è rimasto... All that's left of the past of these boats is the style. The rest is very up-to-date. Vinyl Esther resin sandwich with quadriaxle fabrics on foam core. Materials and construction methods ideal for the sea, let alone for the lake. Figuriamoci per il lago. Bellissima la coperta. A beautiful teak covered deck. Voglio invitarvi. We of the boat show want to invite you into this cockpit with us and take you out for a cruise. The dinette area seats eight people and the table is retractable. Now imagine spending the whole day on board. At some point, you'll have a certain appetite. There's the galley with a glass ceramic cooking plate. And also a dedicated bar area. There are many mahogany elements, a traditional essence on boats of these places. Although Galliotta is a Naples-based shipyard with about 70 years of experience. Grazie al corrimano sulla tuga posso camminare. Thanks to the handrail on the deckhouse, I can even walk safely on the gunwale. And when it ends, I lower down and there's the tow rail. This is how boats should be made. At the bow, there's an ever-present sun deck. Osservando la prua, impariamo l'arte marinata. By observing the bow, we learn the art of seamanship, the fair leads for the mooring lines for the iron chain and the wide wooden gunwale. Eleven point three meters of understated elegance, even below deck. They opted for an open space with a double bed. Sofa and wardrobe. Behind this beautiful curved bulkhead is the bathroom. The fine woods deserve distinct camera shots, and since they are handcrafted products, they can even please owners with different tastes. However, I want it exactly like this one. Gagliotta's success also comes through motorboating competitions, but that is the past. The present lays in cruising boats and, of course, motorization, speed and trim are suitable for pleasure boating and navigation even on rough seas. That is in completely different conditions from what we are here today on Lake Como. In fact, it is powered by two diesel units of 270 horsepower each, and you can decide to opt whether for Mercury or Volvo Penta. In this case, we have the Mercury engines, and in addition to the possibility to adjust the trim, we also have the flaps. I set the trim in the lowest position as well as the flaps, because now the planing phase begins. Actually, the angle of attack between the displacement and planing mode is not very different. If we want to stretch the boat out a bit more, we have to accelerate a little. Have you looked at the bow? No? It's not for an aesthetic intention, I'm talking about technical matter. Have you seen how deep it is and how high and offset the side bows are? It would be perfect on rough waters. Too bad there aren't any waves today.
In any case, these waters, with many wakes from other boats, make me realise that it holds the course perfectly. We're at 17 knots and the consumption is 50 litres per hour. Let's increase the speed a little and, in the meantime, let's enjoy this view. We have passed over the other branch of Lake Como, the one that goes towards the city of Como. At a cruising speed of 24.5 knots, 25 knots, its consumption is 72 litres per hour. They slightly raise the flaps. Let me take a look around. I must say that these windows help the pilot very much to control the body of water. There is a really good view, as I was saying. Let me take a look around so we can veer. It is very responsive in the turn. I'm almost there to say it feels as if we were spinning because it rotates 180 degrees in a really restricted space. The healing angle is typical of a deep V hull. Did you sense the pass over on our wake? Very smooth. There is only one thing missing to finish the test. It's maximum speed. search for the top speed, off go the flaps. We are over 31 knots. Our journey on a part of Lake Como ends here. But I would like to try this Galliotta Lobster 35 again out on the rough seas. I'm sure this boat would give me satisfaction there too.